Gary Montgomery suffered an injury and could no longer play. His focus then switched from sports to art, and he began his long career as an oil painter. It was just something that I was always wanted to do, and it was always in me. I don't know what it is. I'm serious. I can't name it. It was just an inborn uh, uh, thing. When I first started painting, uh, my uncle, uh, Jack, brought some uh, paper and uh, pencils and uh, watercolors and crayons and that kind of thing. And that's when I first got it started. Much to the chagrin of my mother, I uh, painted on the walls quite a bit, so you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Seminole Tribe and uh, my mom was a full blood and my grandparents. And as a matter of fact, my grand, uh, uh, grandfather, Pete Miller, was a uh, full blood uh, Seminole medicine man. So a lot of times I get my inspiration from my side, that side of the family. I was raised by my grandparents and uh, <laughs> Even back then, we had uh, horse-drawn carriages that we got around in. We had an old 1950 Ford, but uh, you know, uh, uh, majority of uh, our neighbors still had uh, the old uh, horses and uh, uh, buggies and that kind of thing. You know, so uh, I was raised up pretty much, uh, you know, on a farm. In my opinion, we were just a typical Indian family. A lot of times when I just, you know, I have something bother me, I just, you know, go back there and work. And I could just sit there and think things over and think things through. I was into horses and uh, stomp dances and uh, Indians riding horses and that kind of thing. That was, that's, that's what, you know, basically what I wanted to do. My uh, uh, art instructor encouraged me to uh, keep on going. His name was uh, Larry Milligan. He was an uh, art instructor at Murray State College. You know. I'm not saying I'm, I was going to, you know, tear the world up as far as art. My art was concerned, but you know, I, uh, I told me that uh, I had a talent and I was going to keep uh, keep going and do what I felt, not uh, you know do what somebody else uh, you know told me to do or whatever. He said, uh, do what you feel. Montgomery married his college sweetheart Linda, whom he met in art class. She became his biggest supporter and influence in his career. She was my critique. I mean, I could sub probably, uh, you know, do something, and in my mind, I would, it would be good. She would uh, come in, and uh, even though I didn't want to hear it, well, every, every time she told me something, it was, it was right. When I first got a little bit older uh, and started uh, painting professionally, uh, uh, Artists, uh, that Cabo Artists of America, artists like uh, James Reynolds, uh, Frank McCarthy, uh, Clark Hewlings was a detail artist that uh, I admired, uh, you know, to uh, do uh, things like he did. Doris Little and the Oklahoma Indian Art Gallery started handling some of my work, you know, and. Uh, they would get me into uh, art shows at the Herd Museum in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. I won grand uh, at the uh, Red Earth in 2010. I had won, you know, I, I won grand uh, in a lot of art shows, uh, but that was probably uh, more uh, impressive to me than anything else. Today, Montgomery is better than ever. His work is admired across the country, and his pieces hang in museums, galleries, businesses, and homes. I have a piece of work at the Smithsonian, and also have a, a couple of uh, pieces at the uh, Cowboy uh, Hall of Fame or Western Heritage Museum. The title of this painting is Rescue Under Fire, and it's uh, de depicting several warriors rescuing a fallen warrior, I mean a warrior that hasn't uh, lost his horse. Gary paints omens, legends, and truths of the Native American culture and is known for the great detail in his paintings. My biggest format, I like, I like painting large, you know, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, I just like uh, large pieces and making a uh, uh, visual impact. Sure, uh, you know, the small pieces uh, pay the bills, you know, and things like that, you know. And uh, today, uh, there's not as many art galleries as there was, you know, five, 
10 years ago. Uh, but uh, now, uh, you know, with the limited art, uh, uh, nobody is buying uh, wholesale anymore. I want it to have visual impacts. I want somebody from clear across the room and uh, taking a look around when he first comes into a building and he sees mine and he says, hey, I got to go see that. In 1983, Montgomery became a member of the Masters category of the Five Civilized Tribes Museum in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Everything that I do uh, has to be, the horses uh, have, the, have to be good from the muscle structure down to the, uh, the dirt on his hooves, you know. And uh, when I sign my name, uh, I put little, uh, little things that uh, Somebody probably wouldn't notice. I put, uh, uh, I'll put a cross. Uh, hopefully, other uh, people notice. Uh, yeah, uh, I try to put something in there that uh, uh, lets people know that uh, uh, where I am. Gary's artwork is featured in numerous private and public art collections. He creates romantic realism in his pieces and strives to show the authentic lines of Native American faces. His spirituality has guided him to where he is today. His faith led him to find peace through his work. The day I got my first, uh, I mean, uh, my third DUI, as a matter of fact, I remember the date, July the 1st, 1996. I remember coming home after I got out of jail the next morning and I remember getting on my knees. And it was just like turning a light off or turning a light on in this case. And uh, I've never had a drink since, never having a desire. I'm more productive now. And uh, I spend more time with my art and uh, a lot of times uh, when I uh, was in the alcoholic stage of my life, uh, I, I would wait until the last minute to get things done, you know. I would lean on Jesus Christ more than anything else. Uh, there's no other way.